Some people say that art subjects such as painting or drawing should not be made compulsory for high school students. To what extent do you agree or disagree? One, introduction, structure, background information. Briefly introduce the debate around making art subjects compulsory in high schools. Thesis statement, clearly state your position, agree slash disagree slash partially agree. Outline sentence, mention the main points you will discuss in the essay. Example phrases. Background information, the role of art subjects, such as painting and drawing, in high school curricula has been a topic of much debate. Thesis statement, I partially disagree with the idea that these subjects should be compulsory, as they offer unique benefits, but may not suit all students. Outline sentence. This essay will discuss the importance of art in fostering creativity and why it should not be mandatory for every student. 2. Body Paragraph 1. Structure. Topic Sentence. Introduce the first reason for your position, importance of art subjects. Explanation. Expand on why art subjects are valuable. Focusing on creativity and emotional expression. Example. Provide a specific example or evidence to support your point. Linking sentence. Transition to the next point, indicating a potential drawback. Example phrases. Topic sentence. Firstly, art subjects play a crucial role in nurturing creativity and emotional expression in students. Explanation. These subjects allow students to explore their imaginations, which can lead to innovative thinking, a skill highly valued in various fields. Example. For instance, many successful designers and architects attribute their creativity to early exposure to art education. Linking sentence. However, despite these benefits, not all students may find value in compulsory art education. Three, body paragraph two. Structure, topic sentence. Introduce the second reason for your position, why art should not be compulsory. Explanation. Discuss how making art subjects compulsory may negatively affect students who lack interest or aptitude in the arts. Example. Provide an example or evidence to illustrate the potential drawbacks. Counterargument. Optional acknowledge the opposing view and refute it. Linking sentence. Summarize the argument and link back to your thesis. Example phrases. Topic sentence. Secondly, mandating art subjects for all students could be counterproductive, especially for those who lack interest or aptitude in this area. Explanation. Forcing students to engage in activities they do not enjoy can lead to frustration and disengagement, detracting from their overall educational experience. Example. For example, students who excel in science and mathematics might feel demotivated if they are required to invest time in art classes that they do not find rewarding. Counterargument. While some argue that exposure to art is beneficial for all, it is important to recognize that not every student will derive the same benefits. Linking sentence. Thus, making art subjects optional rather than compulsory may be a more balanced approach. 4. Conclusion Structure Restate thesis Reiterate your stance on the issue Summarize main points Briefly summarize the key arguments presented in the body paragraphs Final thought 
provide a concluding remark or suggest a possible compromise. Example phrases. Restate thesis. In conclusion, while art subjects offer significant benefits, they should not be compulsory for all students. Summarize main points. Art education fosters creativity and emotional development, but it may not suit every student's needs or interests. Final thought. Therefore, offering art subjects as electives rather than mandatory courses may be the most effective way to accommodate diverse student interests and aptitudes. Sample essay. The role of art subjects, such as painting and drawing, in high school curricula has been a topic of much debate. I partially disagree with the idea that these subjects should be compulsory, as they offer unique benefits but may not suit all students. This essay will discuss the importance of art in fostering creativity and why it should not be mandatory for every student. Firstly, Art subjects play a crucial role in nurturing creativity and emotional expression in students. These subjects allow students to explore their imaginations, which can lead to innovative thinking, a skill highly valued in various fields. For instance, many successful designers and architects attribute their creativity to early exposure to art education. However, despite these benefits, not all students may find value in compulsory art education. Secondly, mandating art subjects for all students could be counterproductive, especially for those who lack interest or aptitude in this area. Forcing students to engage in activities they do not enjoy can lead to frustration and disengagement, detracting from their overall educational experience. For example, students who excel in science and mathematics might feel demotivated if they are required to invest time in art classes that they do not find rewarding. While some argue that exposure to art is beneficial for all, it is important to recognize that not every student will derive the same benefits. Thus, making art subjects optional rather than compulsory may be a more balanced approach. In conclusion, while art subjects offer significant benefits, they should not be compulsory for all students. Art education fosters creativity and emotional development but it may not suit every student's needs or interests. Therefore, offering art subjects as electives rather than mandatory courses may be the most effective way to accommodate diverse student interests and aptitudes. 1. Background information. 2. Debate around. 3. Making art subjects compulsory. 4. Thesis statement. 5. State your position. 6. Agree or disagree. 7. Partially agree. 8. Outline sentence. 9. Main points. 10. Discuss in the essay. 11. Topic sentence. 12. Introduce the first reason. 13. Importance of art subjects. 14. Expand on. 15. Valuable. 16. Creativity and emotional expression. 17. Provide a specific example. 18. Support your point. 19. Linking sentence. 20. Transition to the next point. 21. Introduce the second reason. 22. Making art subjects optional. 23. Negatively affect. 24. Lack interest or aptitude. 25. Provide an example. 26. Potential drawbacks. 27. Counterproductive. 
28. Disengagement. 29. Opposing view. 30. Refute it. 31. Restate thesis. 32. Summarize main points. 33. Concluding remark. 34. Suggest a compromise. 35. Diverse student interests. 36. Mandatory courses. 37. Elective courses. 38. Educational experience. 39. Accommodate. 40. Nurturing creativity. 41. Fostering creativity. 42. High school curricula. 43. Acknowledge the benefits. 44. Derive benefits. 45. Educational framework. 46. Balanced approach. 47. Innovative thinking. 48. Cultural appreciation. 49. Long-term benefits. 50. Overall educational development. 51. Critical thinking skills. 52. Holistic education. 53. Creative industries. 54. Student engagement. 55. Cognitive development. 56. Personal expression. 57. Extracurricular activities. 58. Learning environment. 59. Academic performance. 60. Educational policy. Thank you.